Hello again, everyone. I'm Lee Berger from Johannesburg, South Africa, a professor in paleoanthropology at Wits University and an explorer at large for National Geographic. I've, over the last several days, been watching uh, hominid fossils and perhaps other animal fossils being prepared from the 105 site. And as we're waiting for these exciting fossils to emerge, I wanted to give you a little bit of, of background to how we actually catalog fossils, because it's actually quite a complex process, but a very important one with how we keep track of where fossils come from. So in the case of fossils that come from a cave like this that have been displaced by miners, the first process is locating where the block actually comes from. Now it's been displaced. It was displaced maybe a hundred years ago by blasting or miners moving about it, so it's not in its original position. Therefore we call the block ex situ or effectively out of position. So what we do is we photograph that area, we take high resolution maps of the cave, and we place that rock within the high resolution map of the cave, either using lasers or laser theodolites, or using things like photogrammetry to do that. Once the block is out, it will get a block accession number. Now, the name of this site is UW105, that's University of the Witwatersrand Fossil Site 105. So that block will get that initial catalog number and then it gets what we call a B number which means block number. So in the case of for example the first mandible that came out that is UW105B001. The second block that you saw us pick up that had that beautiful hominid tooth that is block B002 again with the UW105 designation. The fossils that come out are recorded sequentially given a UW-105 number from 1 all the way up to, effectively, however many we will eventually find and other scientists in the future. So the first mandible is UW-105-001. The tooth that came out is UW-105-002. Two, and the next fossil that will come out will get the designation 003 and so on. The fossils are then stored uh, together in uh, different types of containers and will eventually find their way to either the fossil vault or the fossil fauna collections at the University of the Witwatersrand where they'll be studied. Although under COVID, we're actually scanning the fossils in 3D out on the site and distributing those 3D images for 3D printing to our collaborating colleagues around the world so that description and analysis can begin immediately. Well, that's just an update on how we catalog fossils. I'll keep you updated on the amazing discoveries coming from the 105 expedition and our other expeditions and research going on as the days and weeks go by. For now, keep washing your hands.